ربنا ولك الحمد I repeat ربنا ولك الحمد Okay, so this is something that we say once we have uh, risen from the bowing position, right? So you're bowing, then you rise up, you say سميع الله لمن حميدا And as you're pausing and in your stance, you say ربنا ولك الحمد So the takeaways from here is again the word رب Okay, so we, we saw this earlier in Subhana Rabbi al We saw this in Subhana Rabbi al So the word Rabb, we said, is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it has the meanings of that he is the creator, he is the owner. Uh, he has complete governance and control over our affairs. He sustains us, you know, takes something from stages to stages and so on and so forth. Now here, uh, before what we were saying it was Rabbi, my Rabb. Here we are saying it. Rabbana, our Rabb. So it's more of a congregational thing. Remind that look, Allah is the Rabb of not just me, but everything else as well. Everything that exists. You know, He's the Rabb of everything. Everything and everyone. Okay? And so this is, here is Rabbana. Before it was Rabbi. So our Rabb. And then here what we're saying, Wa, and. So we are emphasizing something. And. Laka. Lakal. So for you. Is what? Alham, all praises. Oh my Lord, all our Lord, all praises are for you. So remember, if the word, when we were rising up, we said, Allah hears or Allah listens to the one who praised him or who praises him. So here we are saying that, oh Allah, all praises are for you. We are emphasizing and we are being from the ones who praise Allah, subhanahu Allah, uh, Allah, the, uh, the glory be to him and all the praises be to him. Now, here uh, again, remembrance of importance of praise, praising Allah. As we talked about in the last episode, helps us to have more conviction, more love of Allah. But at the same time, it's also a way of thanking Allah. And one of the promises that Allah has is that the more we thank Allah, the more we will get. Allah promises in Quran, la in shakartum la azidannakum. If you are thankful, Allah will give you more. So how do we become thankful to Allah? One is obviously realizing that the favors of Allah in our heart, realizing that these are from Allah and not just you know our own uh, intellect and our own capacity, but it's actually a facilitation and a blessing from Allah. And the second thing is to praise by our tongue, right? Like how we are doing here. And the third thing is to use what Allah has given us in ways that are pleasing to Allah and not to use it in ways that are displeasing to Allah. So now let's take a look, quick look at the transliteration here. So we have Rob, I have it capital again for heaviness. And Rob, so it's, I think it's relatively quite simple. Nothing uh, hard here, but, you know, if you have been following along so far. Rabba, na, okay, stretch, wa, la, kal, hamd. Simple. So I hope that's easy enough and I'll see you in the next episode.